Now in the next part we've got to find the value of x that makes the area A a stationary point. Now by a stationary point we're talking about the gradient on this graph being equal to zero and to get gradient you need to differentiate and in this particular example we need to find dA by dx. But first of all this term here we need to change. We need to change this to 300 times x to the minus 1 because this is really 300 times 1 over x and 1 over x can be written as x to the power minus 1. The second term is fine so we just leave that in as plus 2x squared. So next we differentiate a with respect to x and differentiating that with respect to x we would get minus 300 multiply by x and we reduce the power by 1 so that's now down to power minus 2 and then for the second term differentiating that with respect to x gives 4x. Now whenever I have negative powers I always make sure that I rewrite them back as positive powers so I'm going to write this back as dA over dx equals well, we'll take this term first, that's quite nice having that one as positive, 4x, but this term here is the same as minus 300 multiplied by 1 over x squared, which combines to give minus 300 over x squared. So, I would always suggest that, whenever you've got negative powers, rewrite your fraction back in this style. Now, next we have when A is stationary. Now when A is a stationary point, let's just write that in there though first, okay, what we have is that dA by dx, the gradient on this particular graph, would be equal to zero. So we need to set this 4x minus 300 over x squared equal to zero. So 4x minus 300 over x squared equals zero. And when you have this equation the next thing I would do is remove the fraction here, the x squared. And I can do that by multiplying both sides by x squared. And so 4x multiplied by x squared is 4x cubed. Multiplying minus 300 over x squared with x squared gives minus 300. And naught times x squared is still zero. What I've got now is 4x cubed equals 300 if I add 300 to both sides, so 4x cubed equals 300. And then dividing both sides by 4 and rearranging this just gives me x cubed equals 75. So to find x now, all I need to do is do the cube root of 75. And if you do that, you find that x then equals the cube root of 75, and that turns out to be 4.21716 and so on. And if we round that, say, to one decimal place, that would be 4.2. The units are meters in this question, and don't forget then the one decimal place. So we have that the width here and the height to make the area a stationary value would have to be 4.2 meters. And that brings us to the end then of this part of the question.